Our goal is your satisfaction. Let us show you the way. Why are tannins in wine bad for you? They help preserve wine from the ravages of air, and that's the key reason reds tend to sell are better than whites. As wine ages in bottle, the tannins soften. Old reds tend to be less harsh than young ones. On the downside, tannins aggravate some people because of that sometimes harsh astringency. Is Pinot Noir low in tannins? Pinot Noir is actually one of the most popular red wines because it is a low tannin red wine. Pinot Noir is fruit forward and pairs well with many dishes. Its low tannin levels make it easy to drink and enjoy. How do you remove tannins from wine? Tannins can be removed from wine through a process called fining. Fining a wine is rarely done, except in these cases. If a wine is thought to be too astringent, containing too many or too strong tannins, manufacturers can remove the tannins creating these problems. Can you buy wine without tannins? With a physician's approval, unoaked white wines like Sauvignon Blancs, Pinot Grigios and Rieslings would be the first place to start for someone with tannin sensitivity. Rosés, which are made from red grapes but do not get much contact with the skins, are also much less tannic than traditional red wines. Do tannins give you a hangover? Whoa, many of you did not see that coming, but tannins in red wines do not cause hangovers, they actually work against hangovers. Unlike white wines and beer, red wine tannins make you thirsty, which aids in the wine water waltz recommended above. Tip 4. Drink lower alcohol red wines. Take our lead. Let's help you make your mark.